wife Zena, the one who mimics me oh so well. It's the thing I do. Right? It's the thing she does. <laughs> it's the thing I do. Check this out. I wish I had a whistle because I blow it. It's game time, people. Game time. Today, we're going to talk about session three of our new book, Intimacy, Growing Closer Every Day. The name of our book is Intimacy, Growing Closer Every Day, available to you on Amazon.com. And also via the Kindle app. Get it today. Buy a copy for you and for a friend. Bam. So, gave, session three you is... You gave him the wink and the gun. Yeah. <laughs> session three is get out of the huddle. Get out of the huddle? Get out of the huddle. What is the huddle? The huddle is that little bit of privacy during a game. Mm, Check this out. So, that huddle. Basketball. Bam. Time out. Sideline break. Everybody around the coach, he draws the plan. Check this out. You cut left, set the screen, backdoor cut, alley -oop, dunk. Game over. Done deal. Victorious. He That's scores. a W. Woo, woo, win. Bam, football. Oh, I'm not left-handed. Oh. There you go. Bam, <laughs> three-pointer. Now, football time. In between plays. Bam, bam, bam. Who is third and two? We need two yards. All right, get to the auto. We're going to talk about the plan that we're going to put into action, how we're going to execute, and any oddities that we may see from the opposition. What you want me to the do, The plan. I want you to sit here and just give him some water after the play. So next, we're going to get into... I, I guess I'm the water boy. Water girl. Wifey style. <laughs> Ooh, keep me hydrated. So, so Stay you, focused. You listen. Don't, you don't want me in the game? You in the game. Just listen. <laughs> so when you're in the huddle, you are addressing obstacles, any opposition... The plan of attack and how we're going to actually execute that plan. I'm ready. So, in your marriage, you have to sit down in the huddle because you may have some obstacles that you're facing. Yes. And the obstacles aren't always infidelity, mm. chicks and dudes on the side. No. Obstacles could be finances, child rearing, home purchases, yes. lawnmower purchases. You want to talk about how you're going to sit down and talk. Yes. You're going to be a great listener, mm. a great listener, a great listener. And then... What'd you say? We're going to listen. Mm. Then we're going to move on to the plan or course of action. That's what this is all about. Getting out of the huddle. So many times we have plans, but we never execute. Mm. For the game to go on without you getting a technical for sitting in the huddle too long, yeah. you must break the huddle. One, two, three, break! Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. High five. Mm, let's go. <laughs> so, now, how do you do this? My wife calls this part the next steps. Let's go to the beginning. Step one. Realize and accept that there's an opposition in front of you. Yes. Step two. Communicate to your spouse that we need to definitely do something about this opposition. Step three. Put a plan in play. Next step. Let's execute the plan. Break the huddle. Take it to these streets. Let's go, coach. Let's get it. Yes. Now, are you ready to get out of the huddle? Mm. Got You got the steps? I don't know. Am you, I? You do. I, I'm ready? You ready. Yes, you are ready. Okay. I'm sure of it. Because we got God on our side. Yes. Y'all didn't see that coming, did you? The yes. God on your side. <laughs> That's the greatest coach of all time. Yes. Not Pat Riley now. Not Phil Jackson now. God. So, you know what? You may be asking, Elle and Zena, what is the huddle? What do we do when we huddle? So, for Elle and no, I... You know, you're going to ask, what's a huddle? Why are we huddling? That's the biggest <laughs> thing. I just told y'all why we huddle. We have an oppositional obstacle in front of us. And I gave you examples of those. Pay attention, people. 
Come on, baby. So, Coach. Yes? So, one of the things that me and Elle do every single week is we ask each other, how is your love tank? We get we got this from mm. Gary Chapman's love Five Love Languages. Many of you know what the five love languages are. There's quality time, acts of service, receiving gifts, physical touch. Woo! And what's the last one? Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Yes. Bam. Thank you. So See that? I knew the answer. Oh, yeah. Of those five love languages, each of us has one that's dominant over the others. Mm. And so for us, my love language is quality time. That's mm. my most dominant one. And for Elle, his most dominant one is physical touch. Woo! And so usually we feel loved when that person does something that makes us feel loved in those five realms of the love languages. Oh, yeah. And so for Elle and I, when we're asking each other weekly, how's your love tank? We want to know, have I spent enough quality time with you in the week? Or have I given you enough physical touch? And physical touch can include just touching. It can also include intimacy. It can cl include sexual intimacy. Yes. So holding hands, anything that deals with physical touch. And so we want to make sure that we are giving each other the things that that person needs to feel loved. And so for us saying every week, how is your love tank? And then giving us a number on a scale of one to 10 with one being our love tank is depleted. We need gas or 10. I'm on fumes, coach. Or 10 being that our love tank is overflowing and we feel loved so in between that number we can gauge where our love is and so for us that's the huddle every week saying how's your love tank and so when we huddle about that we we might say my love tank is a five or my love tank is a seven or it's an eight and so Ooh. as we begin to think about how we're going to get out of the huddle and what our next course of action is what our next course of action is going to be that could be so if our love tank is a seven Mm, that's kind of low. So we might say, well, how can I get you to an eight? So I might just... Just the next step up, yeah. Yes. So I might need a date night. Date night, Or Elle might need um, you know what some, might touching. Need. <laughs> some touching. Some <laughs> touching. Or so whatever it is. And then we might need one of our other love languages filled. You know, I might need help around the house as acts of service. Acts of or service. Or L might support. need um, love as far as in words of affirmation. So Lift he might up, need girl. a letter or a card or he might Affirm need me, me to verbally say something affirming. And so for us, it's really a matter of just checking in. And that's what your huddle is. It's kind of engaging how you are as a spouse. Are you being an awesome spouse mm. to your, your partner? Or are you needing work? Or do work? you suck? Yeah. Exactly. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> but Got do you time need to work? Baby. Yes. So that's a great thing. She made some very good points. Exactly. Remember now, the answer you may receive exactly. might hurt your feelings. And, but please, and that's okay. This means that you got work to, to do. Be better. And also, the person who's making the statement saying that, no, you haven't been doing too well, mm. speak the truth in love. Yes. Don't attack and try to tear down. Yes. Yes. Okay? Make it, sure you do it in the proper manner. It's real important that you're listening to what your spouse has to say. Remember, Elle was saying that earlier, that we have to listen. Listen. And so we want to make sure that we're hearing what our spouse is saying to us so that we can be a better spouse. Getting out of the huddle in session three means that we got to take this plan of action and we got to do something. Do it. Yeah. All This whole book of intimacy is about doing something. Doing We're not something. just giving you some plans that you can say, oh, you know what? This is a nice book. I love what you're saying in this book. Now, I'm just going to put the book on the shelf and I'm going to go on. Don't put it like on the my shelf. Regular, my, I'm going to go about my day as I have been. And no, that's not what we're no, saying. No, 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 We no. are saying that you have a plan of action in every mm. single session in order to get you to the next level in your marriage. We don't want your marriage to be stagnant. That is that is exactly why we wrote this book. Because we want you to have a thriving marriage that thriving. looks awesome. When Growing people, strong. Yes, when people see you, they should see the love of God in your home. Yes. And in your relationship. Exactly what me and Elle have been through, the trials that we have gone through, and how we've come clear on the other side other to side. a wonderful, thriving marriage where we are still working. Just because we've gotten to the other side doesn't mean that we said, okay, you can't we, can, stop. we can sit back and relax and chill. No, we got to keep on working in order for us to maintain this. Just yes. like weight loss. You can lose that 100 pounds, but if you go back to bad habits and stop exercising, you're going to put that weight back on. You have to maintain it. So it's 
the same thing in your marriage. You have to work to get the marriage to the stage that it needs to be, but then you got to work to maintain it. Stay focused. Exactly. Keep it going. You know right so from wrong. Get so get out of the rolling. huddle. You stay don't want to stay. I'm sorry. That's a song I sang to my son every day all through elementary, junior high, and high school and last week. Stay focused, baby. All right. That so. was session two. <laughs> stay in focus. But now we're in session three. No. Get out of the huddle. Session two is excuses. <laughs> we want to... <laughs> so, we want to get out of the huddle and make sure that we huddle weekly or whatever your time needs to be for your huddle. And then once we get out of the huddle, we got a plan that we need plan. to put into action. Put it in action. So what are your next steps? Your next steps are to figure out what your huddle is going to look like. So yeah. what do you need to come together every week to discuss? It, and it doesn't have to look like asking your, your spouse, How's your love tank? It could just be. That's our thing. It could. Well, it could be your thing. Don't copycat, y'all. For real. Be, Sit, be really? original. Okay, you can copycat. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing new invented under the under the sun. We got this from Gary Chapman. <laughs> the how's your love tank? She tell everybody business. So anyway, your huddle could just be simply asking your spouse. How was your week this week? Do you think I was a good spouse this week? What areas do yep. I need to improve in? And so that could be your huddle. Or it could be bringing um, awesome news to your huddle. Right. You know, in the book for session three, when I talk about the huddle, I talk about that you're not only getting together to discuss some things that might be obstacles or problems, but you're also celebrating the goodness for your marriage. Yes. So you want to make sure that you're also saying what you need to celebrate in your marriage, what good things that your husband or your wife has done this week. And so figure out what the huddle looks like for you. And then get out of the huddle and put that plan into action. If you need to improve on something, then do that. If you need to um, do more of whatever you're doing, then do that. If you need to stop doing something that's a bad habit that's hurting your spouse, then do that. Whatever it is, get out of the huddle, get out there, put the play into action, and get your marriage to a better stage. In other words, go win the game. Yeah, exactly. The that's game of marriage. Is. Yes. <laughs> it's real out here in these streets, y'all. That's all we have for you. Session three, get out of the huddle. Yes. Thank you again for participating in the God's Union Marriage Ministry YouTube channel. Session three video from our new book, Intimacy, Growing Closer Every Day. Bam! Share with the world. Oh, she had to do her thing. Yes. I had her hand. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank yes. you. See you soon. Peace out. Sugar, please. Yeah, session two was not focused. Yes, it was. Stay focused. Be committed. Stay the course. That wasn't the title of it. No, though. I said title. I said just like I said, just like we said, stay focused. Session two, stay focused. Said, just like session two, stay focused. You have to stay focused and stay in the course. Okay, baby. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm good. Your knee hurt? Mm -mm. Yeah, that too. What hurts? Oh, yeah. Okay. You are so beautiful. Right, Love me. So I got three videos to edit.